I'm going to um, describe here and demonstrate um, a really simple, really quick, really easy uh, thing to do to bypass anger, to swerve anger. Because um, anger is a, a reaction to something and if we buy into it and invest in it and identify with it, um, we are partly responsible for what ensues next, for what happens next. And um, we don't have to do that. So I'll just go straight ahead and uh, demonstrate the technique. Um, what we do, if possible, before you've bitten in to the anger, to the angry response, and um, like dived into it, take a step back, just like withdraw for just a second, and you can take a choice to do this. Take a deep breath, and then release the breath really slowly through your nose with your mouth shut in a long, steady, lung emptying sigh, like this. All the way down to the bottom of your lungs. Go again. And ideally a third time. Now this has um, a, a multiple a host of, of benefits. By um, closing the throat a little bit and doing that long, slow, steady exhale, we are engaging the, the nagus verb, <laughs> the vagus nerve, and lowering the blood pressure and uh, the cortisol and the adrenaline and all this. We're reducing all of that which means we are less aroused to anger. And we also just give ourselves a little bit of time to consider our options. And I have found through, through experience, through doing this, that just taking that little bit of time and lowering those, um, those reactive kind of impulses, um, there's every possibility that by the time we finish those three breaths, we're going to see the situation ever so slightly differently and maybe choose to not buy in to that anger. Because as I say, when we do buy into that anger and kind of bite back in whatever is going on, um, we then have our part in what happens next now <clears throat> we can do this thing of like taking a step back and like that and this this breathing thing um with all sorts of uh situations not just with anger but the reason i'm talking about this in, with with anger is because anger is so very very uh very tempting it is so tempting and it's so kind of spicy and like juicy we just cut it out we just want to like bite into it and <laughs> have a good chomp on that anger and um it's even spicier and tastier when it is um seasoned with righteousness when we we see ourselves as being in the right and the other person or entity or or whatever being in the wrong and that then kind of justifies our anger to ourselves and makes it all the harder at that point to just step back take that kind of that um avoiding 
<laughs> that swerving action of taking those breaths and seeing how the situation looks after you've taken those three breaths. I mean, what's it going to take you? Like 15 seconds, something like that. Um, because as I say, the anger is so, so yummy, isn't it? It's so yummy, but oh, oh dear, we do suffer for it afterwards. It's like, and it, it's sometimes, it's all we want to do is like bite back, isn't it? It's all and like chomp right on and like lock on. And um, the idea of um, taking that kind of swerving action that, I've, that I'm describing here, we think, well, why should I? Why should I? And that's when the righteousness has um, appeared on the on the scene. So you've got here, you've got, you've got like the swerving action, which is like like a bowl of gently stewed lentils with a, a little bit of vegetable stock. Oh, you've got here, you've got your steaming bowl of hot, spicy, chilli chicken wings. It's like, which one do you want? You want that one, but you know that that one is going to do you more good in the long run. Um, but it can be very, very, uh, very hard to know what to do. So there is um, for you a, a practical thing you can do if you want. If you want to bite in to that bowl of hot, steaming, spicy chili chicken wings and have a big old fight, then, you know, what happens after that is partly to do with you. Um, there is an element of choice in these things, even though it really, really, really feels like there isn't at the time. And um, I think that is um, perhaps the most subtle form of self-damage <laughs> that there is when we tell ourselves that uh, that we didn't have a choice. Um, if you are in, in real danger, act, get out, or do what you can to protect yourself. But if not, you do have the choice and the opportunity to just take that step back, take those few seconds and um, see how it looks after those three long, slow, deep exhalations. Um, yeah, and see what happens after that. <laughs> I just thought I'd share that with you. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you would like to support my work on this channel, uh, please see the Patreon link in the comments section for details. Thank you for watching.